What's going on you guys? Welcome to another video. Um, we went fishing, floating, um, fished some streamers on just a local river. Typically not that many like really solid fish there, but you know, sometimes you can get into some pretty solid fish. So, um, enter us now, uh, back from fishing, but, um, I'm going to tie the fly for you guys that I tied for that actual, um, basically what I call my fish on besides the Eurobug. So, um, yeah, let's get started real quick and just, uh, See if it catches some fish. Okay, so the pattern we're gonna be tying is just a pretty simple jig streamer. I've actually tied something really similar to this in a bait fish color um, in a previous video. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, Mustad heavy wire jig hook. It's a 90 degree hook. I'm gonna take a 5.5 millimeter tungsten bead. I believe this is just an Allen uh, fly fishing bead. Um, I like to keep my streamers barbless to be honest with you. I know that a lot of you trophy trout hunters out there question that, but I have no problem um, staying tight on fish with a barbless hook. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dress the thread of the fly, or dress the fly with a little bit of thread. I'm gonna break it. Okay, I'm gonna work my way all the way to the back. Just like so. And I like to tie this with either a rabbit strip or with, um, with either rabbit strip or um, with like a marabou plume. I think this one is going to get a marabou plume in black. Okay. This is just some select marabou in black right here. Uh, I need to get one with some nice long fibers like this. Right here works perfectly, as you can see. Pretty simple, just marabou. Take a nice clump of this off the tail, just like so. I want this tail to be about three quarters of the length of the fly. You know, this actually does turn this into a little bit larger of a streamer pattern, but it's pretty compact. It's a pretty easy one to cast. You don't really have to worry whacking yourself, and it sinks really, really quick. Okay, so there's your tail of the fly. Um, then the body of the fly, I you like to use, so this is some Snake River Fly Hydro Hackle. Um, really enjoy this stuff. This is the, just like a black and gold variety of the same hackle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, which are right here, cut off a nice little snippet of this, like so. Okay, I'm going to tie this in right here. Just like so. Pull this back, keep it nice and neat. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this. And with every wrap, I'm gonna preen these fibers back just to make sure they're staying in a decent direction. Just like so. And again, this fly is going to stay, you know, this, this hackle is really good with building bulk, but it keeps the fly still rather sparse, so you don't have to worry too much about, like, sink rate. This fly is really going to get down. Obviously, having a giant tungsten bead helps quite a bit, but keep wrapping until I get right about here. Okay, and I'm going to finish this off, just like so. Okay. And realistically, you could end the fly right here um, and it would work perfectly fine but you know I like to have a little bit of a darker upper part of the body just to just to keep it consistent okay so basically you know there's two ways to do this you could just tie in a couple plumes or you could just wrap one good wrap of this marabou on the head of it and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take the tip of this, just like so. Tie the tip in like this. And I'm just gonna wrap this, making sure to preen it back as I go. 
just like so. Okay, give that a good tight wrap. Whoop, a little too tight of a wrap there. But if I act fast, I can fix it. Okay, let's try this again. Just like so. Just like so. Okay, cool. Now, this is still wrapped on here enough. Okay. And I'm just going to finish the fly. You could add something else to this if you'd like, but it's basically just a long fibered woolly bugger tied on a jig hook with a giant bead. And I know some of you guys would think that that head needs to be filled in a little bit, or at least the bottom part of it, and I kind of agree. So I'm just going to take a little tiny piece of marabou, just finish this right here, like so. Just like that. Excuse me. Okay. And now we're done. And this is the fly that caught uh, that nice brown and a nice rainbow. A um, couple runs apart from each other. Nice dab of glue. Just to make sure we all stay together. And that right there is a really simple, but as you can see, it's, it's it has a nice bulk to it once it's you know wet, um, but it stays pretty streamlined. And it's just like kind of a perfect little black bait fish pattern or minnow or leech or whatever you want it to be and whatever the fish want it to be. But it's got that nice teardrop shape as well. So give it a tie and uh, let's get to the video. Good morning, good morning, homies and homieettes. Homie's gender neutral, actually. <laughs> so I feel like I can just call everyone a homie. But what's going on, you guys? Uh, we're out here with the Schnizzle. Drake. Oh. Airing up Drake. the Watermasters. Got the blue Kodiak. Got the green coat, all of Kodiak, pardon me. This thing is a dirty little girl. But we're super amped. We're floating today. Um, pretty nice sized river. Fish it a couple times in some previous videos, but hopefully we're gonna be able to find some fish, get into some. We're gonna be running streamer rigs and indicator rigs. I'm gonna euro nymph a tiny bit just to see if I can uh, pick apart some of these runs better than most people get to. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna hop in uh, hop in the water and get floating. Easy peasy. The balls he's sending the rods down po point first. Easy peasy. <laughs> you. Oh, yeah, buddy.
There's some noses coming up right here, bro. There's some... Dude, good fish. Good fish on the swing. Nice. Chunky rainbow. Sweet. I was totally looking at Drake to talk to him about putting a midge on. And then this fish just whacked my fly. Nice. Pretty little chunk. Thick fish. On the little leech on the swing. Cool it, buddy. Sweet. Great. So there's some noses coming up right here in this little slough. So I have a cup of a little midge. A little midge pattern I'm putting on. And uh, we'll see. Let's see if it gets any. That's a good looking little midge too. Okay, I'm not really seeing any heads come up for the midges, so I'm gonna run the Euro rig through this. See if I get any love. Oh, there you go. No, it's a little rainbow. Nice. On the old uh, Rainbow Warrior. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Cool. Oh, oh, dude, nice brown. It's a nice brownie. The amp on that. Buddy, look at you. Shoulders on this fish, holy cow. Look at that. Look how thick he is too. Healthy. All right, homies, check that out. Nice brown trout, nice uh, streamer eater. Ooh. Adios. Six start. Eat. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's a fish. Yikes.
and smacked it at the worst time he could have. <laughs> that is chunk rainbow. Sweet. Ah. Ow. Come here. I should have net netted this fish, but my net's behind me. I got two X, so I'm not worried about it breaking. Just for the fish's sake, though. There he goes. Sweet. Well, fam, pretty slow day. How do you feel about it? Are you chewing on an indicator? Yeah. I do that all the time. <laughs> it was a bummer of a day, I'd say. So, we're fishing, and I was like, I, I flowed down a little ways, and I was waiting for Drake to catch up, and then he, like, didn't come down, and I was like, what is he up to? What is he doing? So I, like, hiked along the side of the mountain, basically, to get over to him. And I was just, like, walks up, walk up, and he's just, like, standing in the middle of the river, and then he falls. I'm like, what is going on? What happened? Can I tell what happened? <laughs> yeah, so I was uh, floating down, and I had fly rod in my mouth. And then, well, and I had fly dangling in the water, of course. <laughs> then the fly got stuck on a rock, pulled it out of my mouth, and then rod toast. So, Bye-bye, $1,300. But, but what's worse is it happens, and then he finds the fly line. <laughs> And like this is typically the saving grace, right? You find your fly line. So I'm watching him just like crank it in, trying to get to the reel, because it's just pulling backing out, right? And then I'm assuming he got to his backing knot and pulls and it doesn't come, so he like yanks it, breaks the backing knot, no chance of finding that rod now. Um, so if you ever drop your fly rod and you happen to find the fly line, just follow the fly, follow the fly line to the rod. <laughs> And uh, you, you should be able to find it, but you live and you learn. it's a pretty slow day though. Caught a couple of solid fish. That one brown was really rad. And uh, yeah, now we're now we're heading home. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs> night, night.